Assalamu alaikum welcome to Khamar Munboy channel and this is a new video for you do like my video so that I can create more for you by clicking on this like button and also subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed my channel till now and also press on the bell icon if you are not getting this notification uh, for my channel you will get a notification every time I upload a new video thank you Assalamu alaikum greetings of the day let's start with the new video uh, of ETAPS and uh, now we are going to uh, do the seismic analysis so for seismic analysis we should have we must have the seismic loads first so here we have the seismic loads uh, we have to define the seismic loads so before defining the se seismic loads we have to give the mass source uh, so let us go to mass source and here we have the mass source 1 we will take this mass source we will take this mass source as uh, mass source 1 only and we will uh, modify it so in modify in modifying this mass source we will go to the specified load pattern we will take okay specified load pattern origin we will take we can uh, take out all this uh, okay element self mass additional mass this uh, we can take it out uh, we are specifying the load patterns so we will take dead load pattern multiplier 1 and live load pattern multiplier uh, because we are having more than 3 kN in slab uh, we, can, we have to take for that is 15% uh, of the live load so here in the table number 10 percentage imposed load to be considered while calculation of the seismic weight so when we are getting the seismic weight we have to consider this one as a that is 50 percent we have to consider for the imposed load that is live load uh, if it is greater than 3 kN so we are having 4 kN we have considered a office building so we will take it as 50 percent uh, so we will type here uh, 100 is the one uh, that is 100 by 100 is 1 percent if we take 50 percent it will be 0.5 so so this is the mass source 1 okay okay so we have defined the mass source 1 now now after defining the mass source we go to model cases we'll set the model cases here model eigen uh, is already uh, made ready We will modify this. So here we have to take number of modes such that uh, participation ratio should be uh, 90 to 100%. So the values of our participation model participation ratios should be 100%. Uh, so that I will, I will show you after the analysis uh, I will show you the, in the details what are these uh, why we are using uh, how many modes we have to take actually uh, based on the irregularities each irregularity each column is uh, going to have uh, the six modes right uh, if uh, one is uh, one end is fixed one and the other end is one and it's fixed and uh, the other end is free like uh, our building is fixed at the bottom and the free at the top so this kind of buildings or this how if you take one single column it should be a six so minimum uh, mode you can take it as a one that is a uh, here it is given one and the maximum number of modes you can give it as six or twelve it has taken by program so we'll keep it twelve if uh, the, this uh, is less this mode model values are less that is it is not giving the participation mass ratios of two uh, 90 to 100 percent in all the directions then we have to increase the model uh, this values uh, this value we are not considering any p delta settings now i will be showing you on in another video uh, for p delta how to do the p delta analysis so we are not taking any uh, non-linear case that like push over uh, like that any case in this so here we are keeping the name as model only as of now and uh, this is the uh, eigen we can use eigen or rates that is two types of two methods you can use here uh, the 
can see all these things are already set up. The tolerance is minus, that means uh, uh, that is very much less tolerance is given, so everything will calculate very accurately. So that tolerance you can uh, decrease or increase. Okay. So I know auto frequency shifting it will be automatically shifting the frequencies. Okay. You can apply the advanced mode options also. So in that all kinds of options are available. Now we will just go to uh, we have set the mass source one here. See one more analysis we find mass source one. That mass source one we have already defined. Now we have defined the model case also. So let us just go for the model analysis and we will see uh, whether this uh, building is having the, all the modes so like uh, uh, model participation ratio up to 100%. So we will just uh, do the analysis. Let's so set the load cases. All the load cases to run. And uh, here I have, uh, you can see that uh, live load, dead load, we have uh, given load finishes and wall load also separately. So that also comes under dead load. So we will go and define the mass source properly. We will go to mass source here, modify it. Here in the dead load we have taken 100%. You have to take uh, flow finishes also 100% and wall also 100%. Then only we will uh, take the full. Because we have the separately we have given these loads. So now it is okay. I'll check once again the model case. Is it fine? Yeah, fine. Okay. So now we will run the analysis. So now I can go to model analysis display, uh, show tables in this, I can go for analysis, model, click on OK, you can go to model participating mass ratios, this one uh, what, I, what I was talking about, in this, that this uh, uh, sum of final sum of ux, uy, uz in the, in the modes, mode 1, 2, 3, 4, like this is the time period of these modes and this will this be the time period of the building of first mode what we will be taking actually and uh, this, these are the sum, okay, yeah, sum rx, ry, rz and this sum, okay, so you can go and you can see the last 12th mode 9. Here, some UX got 90 percent, 90 percent, that is 95 percent, or more than 90 percent. Okay, this some RX, RY, and uh, RZ. RZ okay, 90 percent, uh, 92 percent, but RX uh, and RY didn't got the 90 percent. So we have to increase the mode, uh, mode shapes. So you have to unlock the model once again, and we have to go to. Uh, we have to go to uh, define uh, model case. Here we have to give more number of modes. Uh, we should give at least means uh, least it should get just uh, above ninety percent. So uh, we will give fifteen or uh, we can give uh, more that is multiple of three. Any multiple of three, eighteen we can give eighteen and giving okay. Now again I will run the analysis. Now I can go to display once again. Pro tables. Okay. 
do the same thing. I'm going to participate in the participation shows. So this shows the how much is the participation of the nodes, what we have created like. So here, creating mode, now I can see. It is already 96% and here are uh, some of Rx, Ry, Rz also got like above 90% so it is almost I can check 18 uh, modes in this mode only uh, it can take up to 50 modes also you can see 15 modes in 16th mode 15th mode also it got so I can take 15 modes in 15 mode also this got above 90% so I can take 15 modes also. So this is how I can take the model analysis. Now we will give the uh, we have since we have done the model analysis and uh, we have uh, our first more time period and uh, now we will give the seismic loads to the building. So uh, what we will do is we will go to define and we will uh, give the load patterns. Here we cannot give any load pattern since it is blocked, so unlock the model. So I have unlocked the model. Now I, what I will do is I will uh, go for define and I will define the load patterns. Now I will define the load pattern as per uh, our Indian standards. So I will write here earthquake loads. So I will uh, separately I will take EQX, EQY. And EQZ, what I have, why I have to consider EQZ is I am considering zone 5. So that is the seismic zone 5. Or it is uh, like I am taking the in the Himalayan region, like Arunachal Pradesh, like uh, uh, Meghalaya, where um, uh, the seismic zone is 5. So there I have to consider seismic zone 5. So I will show you the zone, zonal map also. Okay. 